Hi, I'm Kevin. Hi, my name is Zoli. Hi, I'm Fabian. Hi, I'm Sonia. We are Team Safe Keeper from S102. So we noticed that there was a large amount of household fires, mainly cooking fires and PMD fires. So the a lot of people were injured from these fires and we tried to make a product in order to reduce the number of fires and casualties from these fires as much as possible. Our product, it, it, it has um, heat sensors and PID gas sensors which will detect the amount of heat or amount of gas in the like surrounding areas and if it detects an uh, abnormal amount for example like the, the amount of gas is too high higher than it should be then it will send a notification so it has a notification system so you will send a notification to the user's phone and the user will be able to check if anything something wrong is going on uh, we came up with a lot of ideas and a lot of them got re rejected but i think in that our creative thinking skills were tested and we learned a lot from the ideas and how to improve from them. Another key takeaway is that we need to have problem solving skills because there was one point in time where the, um, the robot malfunctioned and it did not perform its supposed task correctly. So we had to check through all the circuitry again and we, but we eventually found a problem. And uh, I think finally to the juniors that are you should be more aware of your surroundings in your community and your country to find out what really affects uh, the community and to come up with a problem that uh, all of the uh, most of the people in the community would want to make their lives a safer place or a better place to live in. Hi, uh, my name is Pang Hokui from uh, 3M Singapore. Well, this is the fifth year that we are doing the SST 3M Inno Science Challenge. Uh, over the years, we've seen the scope of the projects evolve from very global, trying to tackle very global issues to something that's more local and more pragmatic. You know, the level of complexity has evolved over time, but really in the full sense, right, uh, all these are efforts on the part of the students and their resources, the supports, and it still, it never ceases to amaze me the quality of work they come up with. One of the things we want to do is to expose the students to the process of solving problems in the real world, applying what they learn. When the, this scheme was started up in the early years, it was very much targeted to a single discipline. Right now, what I understand from the school is they incorporate modules from various disciplines into the project work. This should be the way because it reflects what happens in real life. You know, in 3M, we always say innovation doesn't belong to anybody. It's a collaborative effort. Right? Um, even today, our latest slogan says 3M science applied to life. What it means is you take technology knowledge that you have and apply it in context that solves or addresses the challenges that the world faces.